Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, I am feeling very confident and chirpy today. So this video is going to be very chatty and it's going to involve a lot of this. As you can see from the title, this video is about ways to create and maintain relationships in a luxury brand. I have jotted down this conversation into six easy points that are going to revolve around private sales, events and being an important customer to the brand. So without any further ado, let's dive right into the video. So first and foremost point is pick your particular sales associate. Don't just walk into the store and buy anything from anyone. Make sure you pick at least one or at max two sales associate from each brand that understand your personal style, who have a good chemistry with you and with whom your understanding level matches. We have to realize that relationships work on win-win situation. So when you have a particular sales associate of your own you are both going to get benefited out of these i'm going to explain you how so for us as customers we get undivided attention from them we can ask them to arrange any particular thing that we are looking for which might not be available there or could be a rare piece and for them they seek monetary benefits out of it so if you're a particular client that they have and whatever that you buy they get paid a particular amount of monetary commission out of the sales that they make i have been in the game of luxury for about six to seven years now and i have ended up making a lot of friends from my favorite brands who understand my personality my style and help me whenever i want them moving on to the next point which is be intrigued about the brand history understand the point that the hefty amount that you're paying to these brands are not just because of their brand name quality or their famous product it has a lot to do with their brand history as well and when you are aware about the basic brand history of the brand you end up having engaging conversations with your sales associates also because it's obvious that if they are working in a brand for a very long time they are aware and they are proud of the beautiful brand history that these brands have and they would be more than happy to engage into such conversations which involve such topics and because of the engaging conversation you also end up maintaining great interpersonal relationships with them the third point that i'm going to talk about is be sure about what you're looking for now it is very important for you to have basic knowledge about at least the leather or fabric which are famous from each of these brands and when i talk about this point this is mostly concerned with the timeless or the classic pieces that have been in the brands for more than say two or three decades if you're looking for something like that just cut down to the chase just don't revolve around the topic a lot be as specific as you can be i'm going to give you an example so if you're looking for a chanel classic flap or a mini lady dior bag your conversation with your sa can be like hey i'm looking for a mini lady dior in white color and in lambskin leather if that particular bag is not available in that particular store at that time your essays with that specification will try and arrange that product for you as soon as possible because it shows that you're interested in this particular product and you would end up buying it the fourth point is pretty contradictory to the third point but i'm going to explain you how which is don't be afraid to ask questions when i talk about this point it is more related to the trendy or seasonal pieces that these brands have now every brand comes out with their seasonal collection at least thrice or four times a year it is impossible for us as customers to have each and every detail and knowledge about these collection that they come out with whereas the brand staff is very well aware about these products because they view their collection six seven months prior before they are dropped into the store also some of of these sales associates are buyers of the brand and by buyers i mean that they decide what collection should be dropped into the store and they choose each and every product that they see from the shows or the catalogs so whenever you're looking for something like this don't be afraid to ask questions at the end of the day you're also spending a lot of money and you have to make sure that this money doesn't go waste and you're completely satisfied with what you buy these brands are very good at answering and they would be more than happy to help you with that so when i talk about the fifth point people don't realize how important this point is but it is very vital now let's face it if you're walking into a store say for example a saint laurent store and you're looking for a ready to wear piece which is worth rupees 3000 pounds and you're not sure if you want to get it or not turn to your sales associate and ask for their suggestions 
understand that they are the expert of this field when you ask them for styling suggestions they would feel that their experience and expertise is being appreciated and they would always and always give you honest reviews the best part about these brands are that they are not after making a rigorous sale if something is not suiting you if something is not going with your style they are going to be brutally honest in telling you that this is not something you should buy and they would suggest you something else that is more of your style this point revolves a lot around the leathers and the ready to wear collection for example many cases have been seen in the brand chanel where people end up buying lambskin bags without realizing that it requires a lot of attention and care because it's a very very delicate leather and they end up regretting the hefty amount that they paid for that particular bag so make sure you are completely sure about whatever you're picking and if you're not ask for suggestions it's as simple as that the last and the most obvious point that I'm going to talk about is be regular. By being regular, I mean that you have to maintain a specific purchase history in each brand for them to offer you the additional benefits. For example, inviting to the private sales, inviting to the events or arranging exotic or rare stuff out for you which they might not give to their other clients. Now, every brand has a different purchase history criteria on the basis of which they prioritize their clients now i'm gonna give you two examples of how this would help firstly if you're looking for a holy grail bag from hermes which can be either birkin or kelly you have to have at least six lakh rupee which also could be six thousand pounds purchase history in india i don't know about other countries but that is what i know about india and then you can put in a request to be a part of the wait list for when they can arrange it for you and if you want to get these bags offered firsthand your purchase history should be way more like even i'm not aware about that but that is how it works and the second example that i want to give you is a personal experience so i was in talks with my essay in dior where i told her that i'm looking for himalayan mini lady dior bag and i asked her if they require a particular purchase history for me to be able to get that bag she told me that in order to get it available it's not going to be very hard and purchase history is not going to be a major role it would take around six to eight months for them to get that back for me whereas if they're happy with the kind of purchase history that i have they can reduce that time from six to eight months to two to three months so it is not just the availability of the product but there are so many other things that also run behind that as well plus the private sales that some of the brands do like chanel and dior people whose purchase history are considered good are the only people who get invited to these private sales plus every brand has the events on role either they are uh, doing an event where they're launching their new collection or maybe a store launch or whatsoever for that matter so people who are considered as the vip clients for the brand because of the fact that they are regular they are invited to these events to be a part of it so they are prioritized in viewing of the collection before the general public gets to see the collection and with that way you can obviously pick whatever you want first before it goes out of stock uh, so these are my six points that i want to tell you that i have experienced throughout the journey that i've had and if there's any other point that you guys think are, is missing please put it in the comment section down below let me know about that as well and also consider subscribing to my channel for amazing fashion luxury lifestyle content along with pushing that little notification bell so that you guys get updated each time i upload a video which is thrice a week and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye!